Hey everybody, welcome back to Honeycomb Manila. Today we're opening up this Air Jordan 3. Alright, welcome back. My name is Keo Kosho and this is Honeycomb Manila, our collaborative studios in Double Dragon Plaza. And I gotta say, it's really nice to be back here after a short hiatus and talking about sneakers. So let's get into it. Now, if you have been enjoying our content, please do click on the subscribe button. It goes a long way for us. And follow along on Instagram. I am at Keo Kosho on Instagram. Follow at Ajima Mag on Instagram. And follow at Honeycomb Manila, which is this place here on Instagram as well now if you don't know what the comment uh, why don't you just comment with your favorite color because the color of this shoe is a lot of people's favorites this is the air jordan 3 varsity royal or blue cement Honestly, call them whatever you want. It's kind of confusing. There are different names for this shoe. It says something different on Nike's website, on different uh, online stores. But, you know, plain and simple, this is a blue Air Jordan 3. And right after the red Air Jordan 3 came out, which was really good, we kind of expected that we would get other colors like this one. Now in terms of materials, this is every bit as good as that Air Jordan 3. A nice tumbled leather on the main section of the upper and elephant print with genuine leather. Of course, this rand that goes around the mudguard area is synthetic and that's normal. That is true to the OG. So that isn't a downgrade. In fact, when this is tumbled, you consider that an upgrade or a more premium version of the Air Jordan 3. Now on feet, they are very comfortable. Tech spec wise, the midsole on the Air Jordan 3 is polyurethane and it comes with a polyurethane insole, which is nice because this is not an OG colorway. In the heel, you have an exposed Air Max unit and in the toe, there's an encapsulated air unit, which means that this is full length air. But of course, that air unit in the heel, the exposed Air Max unit is the first time in history, if I remember correctly, that we got the air unit, the, the air window in a basketball shoe. Now on the tongue, it does hide the lining. You can't see any of the lining come peeking out from behind the tongue. And that's just one of the ways that the shape on this shoe really is nice and true to the OG. And we've been seeing that over and over with the most recent Air Jordan 3s where the toe is nice and low and pointy and more and more true to the original shape of the Air Jordan 3. Now they come with these black laces, but they also come with a blue lace and a white lace attached to the shoe so you can swap them out. But I think the black laces look perfect. Now sometimes with sneakers, the left shoe and the right shoe are not perfectly identical. But I'm glad to say that with this pair, at least the one I'm holding now, these guys really are close to each other in terms of how identical they are. The elephant print sometimes is not the same density and here you can really see that the density on the left shoe and the right shoe are very close to each other, both on the toe and on the heel. Uh, the paneling lines up pretty perfectly in terms of sizing. And I'm really happy about that because sometimes these are manufactured in completely different factories. The left shoe and the right shoe are manufactured separately and then brought together for packing. And that's to prevent piracy and copying and that kind of thing. And sometimes the shoes don't line up, but here they line up pretty perfectly. The height of the toe, the height of the panels, the individual leather panels, they line up. And the spacing of the elephant print, which is something that I like to nitpick on they are perfectly identical on this pair and that's great because this is a GR this is not like some hyper hyped collaboration shoe this is a shoe that you can get and you don't have to pay resale for but since it's not a OG colorway 
it says Jordan all over the place and not Nike Air. So on the outsole, it says Jordan and on the heel tab, it has the Jumpman, Jumpman Air, which is something I usually don't mind so much about. I'm not obsessed with the swoosh with the Nike Air, but something that annoys me about this shoe is that the, the white on the Nike Air Jumpman or the Jumpman Air here is not the same as the white on the midsole. And that kind of drives me mad because this pair of shoes would be perfect if those colors did match up because everything about it just seems to work. And it's hard to make sense of that because in your mind you think white is white. You just don't add color and you won't get a weird off-white color. But from a technical point of view, the back tab is made of rubber and the outsole or the midsole is made out of polyurethane. So you do use different paints for those two. So I do understand how that can happen, but I don't understand why it would happen. That doesn't make sense to me. Now on a scale of one to 10, I don't usually rate sneakers, but I'd have to give this maybe an eight out of 10. It is very close to perfect, but I knock off half a point for just for it not being Nike Air. But I'll also knock off another half point for it not being, uh, for not, it not being the same color of white. Uh, maybe another half point for, you know, just to allow for other shoes to be a bit more premium. But other than that, I think that this shoe is pretty close to perfect. That is above average and great for, for a sneaker that people can buy. <laughs> Honestly, and in a great colorway, you know, that that used to honestly be a dream colorway for a lot of people. Um, yeah, speaking of dreams, like for me, the Jordan 3 is very much like a Pixar movie. And you know how like when you watch a Pixar movie, there are all these jokes that, you know, it's made for kids and kids love those movies, but there are all these jokes that you won't get if you're not up to date with pop culture or you don't watch the news. And those are kind of the ways that the, the movie becomes for all ages, for adults and for kids. And for me, the Jordan 3 is kind of like that. As an adult, I really enjoyed learning the stories about Tinker Hatfield and you know how he kept Jordan inside of Nike and essentially saved Nike with this shoe. Uh, I love hearing about how Air Max was introduced you know, that visible air unit was introdu introduced into the shoe and learning about the design and Jordan. But you know, honestly, as a kid, I just cared about the dunks. Like I really just cared about the dunk competition because the Air Jordan 3 uh, was what Jordan wore when he did that famous 15 foot dunk. And that dunk is just ironed into my head, stuck in my head um, almost as much as the last shot was. And I remember that when Sean Kemp did the 15 foot dunk, I think that was in 95 or 96, it, complete, it completely baffled me that he didn't win the dunk contest on that year because for me, that was the greatest dunk of all time. And you know, this MJ's dunk and Sean did it and he was kind of, you know, approaching that level in terms of a dunker. So it completely baffled me and, and that, that pure magic was something that I could enjoy as a child and I could relate to as a kid. And then as I grew up and I appreciated the shoe even more, then I started to appreciate the designer and the stories and the other things that happened in these sneakers. And yeah, I think that storytelling in terms of sneakers, you know, we get a lot of collaborations that kind of shoehorn in stories for lack of a better way to say it, or licensing that, you know, are collaborations, but really they're licensing. And this shoe has none of it, you know, it's, it's a general release in a new colorway, but by getting that OG shape, it brings back a lot of the OG stories that are inherent to the footwear. And I like that, I like that a lot. And I'd like to see a lot more of that. Now, in terms of personal style, like when you wear a pair of shoes like this, what's the story it's telling about you and your, your childhood and your life and the things that you like and maybe the, the things that you want to emulate? You know, we just finished Mamba Week. And when you wear a pair of Kobe's, you're really thinking about that Mamba mentality and how you're personifying it in your life. 
what are you personifying when you wear a pair of Air Jordan 3s? And for me, it is that upward climb uh, of Michael having not yet won championships, but fighting and pushing really hard to get there and being undeniable about how amazing he is. Uh, and we see that with a lot of players today. You know, you see that with Giannis. Uh, you see that with sometimes Paul George, sometimes James Harden. Uh, and it is playoffs. So, you know, if you, if you have a player that you feel that way about now, that you think is maybe showing some of those Jordan 3 era Jordan vibes, maybe you can leave a comment as well below other than your favorite color. And if your favorite color is blue, let me know because... You know, my favorite color is not blue, but I know a lot of people who have been wanting this shoe for a long time just because they wanted a blue Air Jordan 3. All right, so that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Do follow along on Instagram so that you can keep up to date with all the things that are going on here. Now, I do wanna announce that we are gonna be doing a new giveaway very soon. I have a project to give away 50 t-shirts. Uh, so stick around, make sure you subscribe so you can learn more about that that's coming in the next few weeks. And I wanna do all of that before November. So keep me honest, guys. Comment if I haven't been doing it. And stay safe, y'all. Wear a mask. Wash your hands. Be safe. All right. Peace.